Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, and it goes like this. For all, that's you and me, all, have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes, we've all sinned. We was born in sin. Uh, that's, that's our human nature. And why did that come about? Well, the Bible tells us in Genesis about uh, Adam and Eve. And uh, he specifically told them not to eat of this one particular fruit of the tree. And guess what? <laughs> sure enough, old Satan come as a serpent. And uh, he... Uh, uh, tempted Eve. And uh, so what did she do? She went and got her husband, Adam, and uh, said, hey, th this, is, this is good. Take a bite. And uh, that is when sin entered into the human race. Just the moment that that nectar touched their tongues. They became a sinful nature. For the first time, they seen that they was naked. So what they do, they go, they went and got some leaves, probably fig leaves, sewed them together and made them a covering. And as the story goes, God kicked them out of the garden. The beautiful garden. He kicked them out. And here we are today in a sin-drenched world. There's no sacrifice would satisfy God completely. So what did he do? He sent his only son named Jesus the only one that could redeem us from our sins. John 3, 16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And 1 Corinthians 6 and 20 tells us, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. We've been bought. We've been bought. We've been redeemed from sin. But what do we have to do to accept that redemption? Well, we have to accept Jesus, God's only begotten son, who came to be our sacrificial lamb. We have to accept him as our savior. There's no other way. There is no other way. Through Jesus, we're justified, redeemed by his blood. There's no other way. You can't buy your way to heaven. You can't be good enough to go to heaven. You can't wait uh, until you get to heaven and plea bargain. It, it's, not, it's not possible. Yet many think they can. You may be a sharp-tongued little booger here on earth, but you're not going to convince God when you stand in judgment. Jesus tells us in John 3, 7, marvel not that I said ye must be born again. You have to. There is no other way. There is a penalty for not having Jesus as your Savior, for not accepting him not asking him 
to take away your sins and follow his footsteps. There is a penalty. It's called hell. Mark 9 and 48 says, Where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Hell, the lake of fire, and it's real. Yes, it is. It's real. I pray that if you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, if you haven't asked him to come into your heart and be the Lord and Master, that you do it today before it's too late. We don't know when we're going to take our last breath, and we don't know when Jesus is going to return to take his children home. I want to be in that number, don't you? If you don't know Jesus today, ask him. Just, just fall on your knees and say, I'm a sinner, and I, I, I need your grace. I need your grace because I can't do it on my own. Well, I hope you got something out of this today. If you feel that it has value, share it because Jesus loves you. I love you, but he loves you even more because he died on the cross just for you and I. And we'll see you soon. May God richly bless you. Bye-bye.